Hey, what's going on, you guys? Like with you guys to the channel, it's your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. And today I got one for Lost in Space season three, which is the final season of this show, which means the Robertsons can finally chill for uh, maybe a couple of days before something else happens that we don't actually get to see. Because let me tell you something about this show right here in this family, the Robinsons, who constantly every single day get into le at least three situations that could possibly get them killed okay this family this family's from episode one all the way to the final episode gets no breaks they're constantly 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 putting themselves in the worst situation or the worst situation just happen to happen to them okay um Obviously, you guys know how I do like my uh, t uh, TV reviews, uh, spoilers. So I'm not I'm gonna cover everything that happened this season. I'm just gonna get my overall thoughts on the season, and you know some of the things I liked or necessarily wasn't uh, a big fan of. But overall, I gotta say I think this season was a very strong season. Uh, this season, wow, I've said this season a lot of time. But from everything that's going on, they're still trying to get the Alpha Centauri. The uh, the children are separated from the adults. They're also still running from the aliens. Okay, the rope. Well, the yeah, the alien robots. But this season, we get more backstory on them. We don't necessarily get backstory on their creators or anything like that. But we do see that Sar is back, and Sar wants all the smoke he wants some get back and he want a piece of will robinson's ass okay actually he wants a piece of will robinson's heart because in his mind no more masters no more rulers he feels like robot and the way will was able to change him will is kind of like controlling him but it's not that at all these robots only knew one thing, and that was what their master showed them. It seemed like their master probably was like some pieces of shit. Uh, I, the, the 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 skulls of their masters, I, honestly, if I'm keeping it a binsky, look kind of like predators a little bit, you know, just a little bit. You know, the head ain't quite as big up top, you know. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. And Will's trying to stop all of this. They're trying to get everybody back. Uh, Judy's father comes into play in this season, which I thought, like, okay, I'm happy that they actually did that. It's played by, oh my, I cannot think of his name. Uh, gonna have to come back to that, but great actor. He played, I, I kind of feel like he was underutilized a little bit, because I feel like that dude is, like, phenomenal. Um, he's a great, like I said, he's a great actor, and I kind of wish they would utilize him a little bit more, but hey. You know, it, this is about this mainly be about the Robinsons if we just keep it in a bean. We have Judy obviously in this role of like captain, like her having to, like the pressures of that, and her finally having a conversation with her mother about like, hey, I'm just, she's just been fighting so hard to be the perfect child, the one that you know nobody, her, her parents didn't really have to worry about, and that kind of like, you know, when you put like such expectations on your child, it, it, it kind of like could mess with them a bit and i think that's definitely what happened uh but she finally like got to expose that because like she never really got a chance to be vulnerable because she was always the one who had to look out you know i think i like penny's development this season as well penny kind of like comes into her own start realize hey you are a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for i like the fact that uh oh boy told her that but at the same time I knew she was going to end up eventually have to see that for herself. And I think the connection, I really like how they did the connection between Penny and the robot, which was later on utilized once Penny got her own robot. And it's just like, hey, you save these guys' lives, they pretty much like in debt to you. That's what it feels like. And they, and they evolve into something different rather than the murderous robots that we've been seeing thus far. We have been trying to get the Alpha Centaur for so long, and we finally get there. But as soon as the Robinsons get there, you know things is going to shit. And that's exactly what happens, man. I'm just like, God, dog. Y'all should have stayed at home, okay? Y'all should have found y'all another planet. Because as soon as y'all got here, we got to deal with aliens coming through, trying to destroy everything. And the re the way the aliens are going to destroy stuff is with uh, the bombs. And not necessarily bombs. They're just like... Uh, the the was it the I think it was the batteries to the ship they could also be used as bombs and like that's how the first masters and stuff were destroyed so I enjoyed that uh, quite a bit my band I just got the game on in the back if I'd have seen a big play uh, <laughs> excuse me um but yeah I, I like the the parents the parents were kind of like messed up at the beginning and 
I can go over every single episode and tell you what went wrong and just how certain things just would constantly go back. Like the, they're literally about to get eight. And I like the fact that we had like a big giant worm looking monster eating the ship at one point in time. Because I kind of feel like in like space movies or shows, that's like an element that has to be there. Like, okay, I'm thinking of Star Wars, I think of Doom. There has to be some giant worm looking thing <laughs> that's going to eat everybody. It's just, it's just a must, okay? When you're in space, there are giant worms out there that will eat your entire ship, okay? Um, so I was enjoying that. Will's connection has always been there. One thing about Will, though, and this is this is becoming like really dangerous with these shows. Uh, uh, it's the fact of how quick these kids grow up. Because last season, Will was this tall. In 349 days, Will is, is literally taller than everybody else in his family, bro. Like the gross. Because I was watching, I'm like, did they recast? Did they recast Will? And I go look, and I'm like, no, nah, that's just that's the same person. He just looks a lot older. Another person who's still here somehow is Smith. Y'all don't know how bad I despise this woman. Like. For all the tea in China, just I was like, please, somebody throw her into the vacuum of space already. She's not a good person, okay? She is conniving. She is evil. She's selfish. And I'm just I'm like, she's that up into the very, very, very and, uh, and of course, there are some situations where like she helped, she 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 helped, but it's all for her own benefit. Now I understand being self. I uh, I understand being a little bit selfish. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I completely understand that. But she does it in such ways where it's just like, damn, you gonna hurt, you gonna step on anybody else to make sure you are. Right. Like anybody else. She has no remorse. And like, she was literally about to kill Judy. <laughs> like, bro, I cannot forgive her for all the stuff she's done. I'm sorry. I need her to stay. I, I don't, I'm not an advocate for anybody to be locked up. I'm sorry. But her, keep her ass locked up. <laughs> she is the worst. And like, bro, that was crazy. But I thought this season was great. I like the way it went. I like that we, uh, of course, we knew we were gonna have more aliens to deal with this this season, and I liked, uh, I liked how. Now, one scene that was really corny to me is when all the kids walked up and had the aliens behind them. I'm like, okay, so you just have to save an alien's life and they hook to you. Okay, all right, cool. And like, cause like everybody, we got okay, fine piece to an alien, put it together, cool, we in the dough, and that's pretty much what happened. But yeah, uh, I, I I like this show. This show is very, very entertaining. And one thing about it, you know that they're constantly, constantly, constantly in situations where they might not make it out. And that's literally every single episode, okay? But even after two seasons of seeing it, going into a third, and you constantly still seeing them being put in situations... The show is so good that you still never know what's going to happen. The tension in the show is always there. Always there. You never just, you never at ease. This show will raise your anxiety to the roof, okay? That's exactly what this show would do. And that's, and that's something, that's kind of a feat if you ask me. Because... If I've seen the if I've seen characters get out of situation constantly, how are you gonna keep making me believe that something can actually happen to them? And that's what the show does. Uh you never believe you never at ease, and I enjoyed that about it. So um great show. Enjoyed this uh the series finale. Think it did a hell of a job with it. Um So yeah, this, I think this is one of the better shows 
on Netflix and, and like as far as sci-fi and stuff like that and I, I, I think it's really good and like the characters are, are and I, and one of the reasons I think Smith's character is so despicable and you hate her so much is because I think the other characters are just so good that and, and you enjoy them so they had to have some kind of balance because Smith carries that hatred that you need for a character all by herself like all the other characters, I'm really fine with. But her, her character was made for you to not like her. And she does that better than most characters I've ever seen, period. Okay? I still, I, I, I see her in person. Well, no. No, I see her in person. I might give her a little mug. I might, I see the action in person. I'm like, I don't know. You hear me? I don't Still off on us. <laughs> but no, I, I, I think they did a great job with this. Uh, yeah. Uh, if I'm grading, I, I don't usually do that, but I'm going to grade the series because I, I typically grade movies and not shows. I'm going to give this a, a B because I like the characters. The tension is always high. You have characters that you really like. You have a character that was made for you to hate and it, it does that well. And you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen with these crazy people. And I like the little, the thing, I like the little Meet the Robinsons line they put in there. I thought that was cool. I thought that was cool. I'm, I'm like, okay, I see what y'all did there. So, yeah, you guys let me know what y'all thought about Lost in Space, uh, the series as a whole, the season. I, mean, I think uh, the series ended off. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys stay safe. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.